A reading of the Passion of Jesus of Nazareth. When Jesus and his disciples had come near Jerusalem, he sent two disciples ahead to find a colt. They went as Jesus had told them and found the animal. Then they brought it to him, and after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. As he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Hosanna to the Son of David. Hosanna in the highest. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? Go into a city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them, and they prepared the Passover meal. When it was evening, Jesus took his place with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they became greatly distressed and began to say to him one after another, Surely not I, Lord. The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl of me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. Surely not I, Judas. Rabbi, you have said so. A little while later, Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. They'll all become deserters because of you. I, Peter, will never desert you. Truly I tell you, this very night before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And so said all the disciples. After the meal, Jesus and his disciples went to a place called Gethsemane. He took with him Peter and James and John. He began to be distressed and agitated. And Jesus said to them, Sit here while I pray. I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba, Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. He came and found them sleeping. Peter, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and, you, and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and found them sleeping. For their eyes were very heavy and they did not know what to say to him. He came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough! The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. My betrayer is at hand. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, and with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Greetings, Rabbi. Do what you came for, friend. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. But one of those who stood near drew a sword and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. I am 
healed! He healed me! Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me? As though I were a bandit? Day after day I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me, but let the scriptures be fulfilled. All of the disciples deserted him and fled. When the morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? You say so. The chief priests are accusing you of many things. Have you no answer? See what charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate used to release a prisoner at every festival, anyone for whom the crowd asked. A man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. The crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them, according to his custom. Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? Pilate realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed Jesus over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have Pilate release Barabbas for them instead. Then what do you wish me to do with this man that you call king of the Jews? Why? What evil has he done? When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but that instead an uproar was starting, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd and said, I am innocent of this man's blood. It is your responsibility. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them. After flogging Jesus, Pilate handed him over to be crucified. They clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. Meanwhile, Peter had followed at a distance into the courtyard nearby, and he was sitting with others, warming himself at the fire. One of those who saw him said, You were with Jesus, the one from Galilee? No, you must be thinking of someone else. I tell you, I saw this man with Jesus of Nazareth. I don't know what you're talking about. Certainly you were also one of them. Your accent betrays you. But Peter began to curse and swore an oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the rooster crowed. <coughs> and Peter remembered that Jesus had said, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, and they crucified him. They divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. Those who passed by derided him and shook their heads. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Then Jesus gave a loud cry and said, It is finished. And he breathed his last. Then the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. When the centurion, who stood facing him, saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. When evening had come, and since it was the day of preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, 
Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate, I wish to bury the body of Jesus of Nazareth. Has this man been dead for some time? Yes, sir. Joseph of Arimathea, you may have the body. Joseph had bought a linen cloth, and having taken down the body, wrapped it in the cloth, and laid the body in a tomb that had been hewn out of rock. He then rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where the body was laid. <laughs> 